Mommy Doggy. I will put it on in a second. I just want her to say hi. <laughs> you saying hi? Now go back there. Whoosh! Thank you so much. There you go. <laughs> grunt though. And today I'm going to be doing a college haul because I have loads of stuff next to me and I just wanted to show you all before I pack it up and move into college. First I'm going to start off with the big stuff. Well, it's only one big thing for now. Um, but it's this um, anti-allergy mattress protector because I am moving into college in a dorm so I'm going to be um, like there's going to be like the bed there and obviously other people would have slept in it uh, obviously they've all been cleaned but you know better be safe than sorry I don't want to be coming down ill um, in college because college is a uh, serious time and we are expe expected to have almost 100% attendance so I don't want to jeopardise anything so better be safe than sorry so this was £13 from Dunelm. Next I'll start off with my holiday purchases because I have like three bags um, so I'll just like start with the smallest bag and work my way up. Um, this I didn't get on holiday, I got it from a market a few weeks ago, but it is a purple dream catcher. If you've been um, following me for a while or you know me pretty well, you know that I'm obsessed with dream catchers. This is now my third one. I have two more up there. I have like a rainbow pinky one up there and also a brown and white one. Um, so this is going to be the one that I'm taking to college with me. Um, just because I love them and I've got to have them wherever I go basically. Next is some postcards that I got from um, Normandy. I went there last week. So I picked up a few things that I'm going to put on my cork board in my dorm. Because everyone gets them. And I just like to decorate it. And I don't want to have any like blank spaces. So just in case my pictures don't fill it up enough. I've got these as well. So this is of Le Mont Saint Michel and it's at night time um, with a really nice sunset and a high tide because this you can actually go on to the abbey when there's a low tide during the day um, which is what we did so this is from one of the like gift shops in the um, abbey and I just saw that and I had to get it because it was really nice and I love sunsets and the water just looks really pretty and this was a really magnificent place. Um, I went riding on the beach when we were in Normandy. We went and rode on the Normandy D-Day Landings Beach Sword. Uh, I don't know if any of you know about it but it was the um, Sword Beach. And this isn't actually on Sword Beach and this isn't me in the picture obviously. Um, but it's kind of just a reminder of what I did because my dad, I don't think, I haven't actually looked at his pictures, so he could have possibly gotten some, but I don't think he got any pictures of us actually riding on the beach. I got this just in case, like, we didn't have any pictures of us actually riding on the beach. He did get pictures of us in, like, the school when we were, like, just walking around waiting to go out. Um, but yeah, I just got this as, like, a little reminder, and it's a really cute picture. <laughs> Next is this watercolour kind of picture of um, one of the little... I think it's a little river or a canal or something in Bayou which is the place where we were staying and there was this really pretty bit, um, I actually went there, uh, it's not like a tourist attraction it's just a really bit of, a really pretty bit of scenery there. Um, so it's got like that little water mill thingy in it and you can see the Bayou Cathedral in the background up here and just loads of like the houses and everything. I just thought it was really pretty and I love that it's watercolour because I love watercolour paintings so I thought I would get it. <laughs> Next is a little Bayou Cathedral, Bayou Cathedral postcard um, and it's of Bayou Cathedral, Cathedral, I can't, I don't know why I can't say that, um, at night time and it's really pretty and I just thought it was really nice and I might get one of the pictures that I took um, in the daytime printed out just because it, they're like two different beauties during the day and at night so I have the nighttime one and I might print one out, I'm not sure yet and some of the postcards came with um, envelopes 
um, all the envelopes were the same and I'm not going to be sending them off anywhere so I got rid of the other two and I just thought I'd just keep this one because it has some really nice pictures on it and I just really liked it. Next is the more childish stuff that I got. I'm going to start off with the least childish things first. Um, I got these two flags. Um, a Canadian flag because, and why is it upside down? Because it slipped down, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I got a Canadian flag and a Great Britain flag because, if you know me, I am like obsessed with Canada for no reason whatsoever. But it doesn't help that my old physics teacher was Canadian and he was like hilarious and I was actually pretty close with him. Um, so yeah, I got this Canadian flag just because I like love Canada and it's like if I could go anywhere in the world right now, it would be Canada. So that's just, I just got it. <laughs> and then I got a small Great Britain one. I was going to get either um, two small ones or two big ones, but they didn't have a big one of this and they didn't have a small one of this. So I had to get an even size, but it kind of shows that my love for Canada is bigger than my own country. So, yay! We went to a theme park on Monday and I saw a pinwheel and I couldn't resist. <sighs> There we go. Um, I couldn't resist. But I just thought it was really cute and it would just make my room look all colourful. Next up is basically just a random bag. This is nothing in particular. It's just random stuff that I picked up for college. First I have this little duck egg blue clock. It's actually really peaceful because I thought, oh god, it's going to be really loud and annoying. But it's actually really nice and I find it quite relaxing when I'm trying to go to bed as well, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I really like that. But this frame is kind of something that matches it. The clock was £12 and this was £4. It's a little frame and again, it's the same duck egg blue because it's from the same shop. So they kind of have used the same colours. Um, and it's really nice and it's kind of vintagey and I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw both these next to each other because they were on the same display stand I was like I have to have them <laughs> um, so yeah I really like them and I'm gonna get a cute picture of me and Bentley to go in here and just put it on my desk and I think it's gonna re look really cute at college so the next few items are all from the same shop it's the shop called Tiger now I don't know where else in the world has this shop because I know it's a foreign European shop. It's not an English shop. I'm pretty sure it's Denmark because it says on the thingy it says Denmark. So I'm just guessing that's the country of origin. So I'm not sure whereabouts they have shops but England definitely has them. And OMG it is my favourite shop in the whole entire world. Wow. I guess you're probably wondering what this is. Um, it's a toothbrush holder and it's a horse head and it is awesome. Um, Alice pointed this out to me when we were shopping um, and I was going to get one of these anyway but I think I was going to get the pig one or the sheep one but then Alice saw the horse one and I was like right that's it I'm going to an equine college have to get the horse. Even if I wasn't going to an equine college, I probably would have got the horse anyway. But yeah, this was £2 and it's going to look super cool in my room. Next is a mini stationery set that I'm going to be taking in my bag probably. Um, because I... <laughs> it's a strawberry and the, um, the ordinary office box set one was in a clear plastic box with exactly the same stuff in here but it was all like clear. Um, actually, I think everything in here is clear as well. Anyway, um, and it was one pound more expensive. It was three pounds. This is only two pounds, and wow, it is so cute. In it comes a mini stapler, staples, a mini highlighter, cello tape, um, these little post-it pastel color slip thingies, and my favorite item the scissors mini scissors for mini people next is some plasters in the tin because you're gonna get injured every once in a while 
especially working with horses. So first aid kit in the bag, and I just punched my boob. Wow. Um, so in here, you may think they're ordinary plasters, but no, they're coloured. They are actually coloured. They're not just coloured on the tin, they are actually coloured. There is yellow, red, blue, green, and purple. And I've only had to use these once. So, um, yeah, they are awesome. And once I run out of all the plasters in here, which will probably take a while because I don't really get injured that often, but I will keep the tin and I will just buy ordinary plasters because... Or I might get, like, Disney Princess ones from, like, Boots. Wow. Genius right here. Yeah. It's a really cute tin and really cute plasters. Next is kind of more of a decoration than what it's actually used for. It is a tortoise eraser in turquoise. I don't really know what else to say, uh, apart from it's a, torto a tortoise and it's blue. Next is also pretty awesome. Um, it is one of those little keychain thingies and it's a headphone splitter basically. So you know when it's really annoying and you have to um, share your headphone with someone else that wants to listen to your music? Problem solved! So I'm just praying that someone likes the same music as me at college and we want to be antisocial together and listen to music at the same time but want to have two headphones instead of one. lifesaver. Next is some amazing, that's the receipt, amazing body wash! Yay! Um, this is the, probably the most amazing body wash I've ever used in my whole entire life. It's by Soap and Glory, so you know, it's obviously amazing. But if you ever see this in a shop, I got mine from Boots, I think they sell them in Superdrug as well, but if you don't have Boots in Superdrug in your country, just go and find them, because I think Soap and Glory is a pretty worldwide thing. Oh my god, it smells like cake! Ah, that's the reason I bought it. I bought it for college because it smelled like cake. Um, they, they were doing a three for two offer in Boots when I bought these, so my mum bought this Sugar Crush body wash, and she also bought something else which I cannot remember right now um so yeah that was pretty good and oh my god it smells like cake I haven't used it yet because I'm waiting till college but OMG it smells like cake and it's got almond oats and brown sugar scent so maybe be careful if you have um a nut allergy because I don't know if it would like cause a reaction or something so yeah just be careful about that but if you want to risk it, go and smell it. No, don't do that. I don't want anyone to, like, end up in hospital because of me. Oh, dear. It smells so good. So, yeah, be careful if you have a nut allergy, but if you don't, go and smell it. Next are a few bargains that I picked up along the way. Okay, this is an actual bargain. The other two are just cheap. Um, but this is one of those little, um jar glass thingies I already had one of these but I saw this and I couldn't resist I have this um, clear one with a polka dot red lid and a red straw but come on this is pink it's pink come on and the bargain is it was £3.50 I got it for 70p I mean come on this is a pink jam jar mug and the reason why it was reduced, we don't know. We think it's just that it, it doesn't have a lid and a straw. But that's a really stupid reason because you just drink it like that. Next is these little glasses. And I don't like... There you go. I'm weird about that stuff. The, this is like a pinky purple lid old mug. I don't know if it shows up on camera because they are really faint. This is more like of a grey purple. And this is a turquoise, obviously. Um, these are from Ikea and I think they were 50p each. They were either 50p each or a pound each. So either way they were pretty cheap. And they have been washed. I washed them. No, my mum washed them. But yeah, um, these were really cute. Hands off everyone, they're mine. 
Next up is the cacti that I was talking about. Uh, Ta-da! They are so cute and I absolutely love them. And I love the pink pots that they're in. They um, are from Ikea and they were £3, so basically £1 each. But they came in like a set of three. And I didn't see any turquoise plant pots. Um, so I got the pink ones because they are so cute. And it's a pastel pink. And OMG, I love it. Ow. Ow. It's inside of me. Ow. Anything with cacti is they get everywhere. Well, this one does anyway because it's spiky. And I can't get it out. There we go. I just put it on my pillow. Oh. Um, but this one's nice to me. And this one's nice to me. It's just this bloody middle one that always stabs me. But it's cute. And I can just shove it in people's faces if I don't like them. Before I go into the stationery stuff, I will show you the uh, bed set that I've got for college. Um, I'm going to get another one. Um, a pug one. These are both from Asda. The single set is £10, I'm pretty sure. Double is £12 and a king is £14. I think it goes up £2 every time. So I think this was £10. Um, so... <laughs> I love it! Oh my god, I've used it ever since I got it. So I need to go to Asda at some point. I think my mum might be going to Asda on Saturday. So I might ask her to pick the pug one up so I can put this one in the wash um, and then pick it up when I come back at the weekend for college from college um, so I'm gonna change it every week so every week it's gonna be washed and um, I'm basically just gonna be using the same ones every time so one week it's gonna be this one um, and the next week it's gonna be the pug one so that's gonna be awesome and I absolutely love this because it's an animal unicorn circus thing. So we've got a elephant, a panda, a giraffe, a tiger, a lion, a rhino. I think that's it. And my beautiful background is a duvet set. That matches it. So yeah, this is really cute. And uh, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, Mum probably won't like it, but I really love it, and I really want it. But I showed it to my mum, and she was like, oh, that's actually like, pretty funny, and it's really colourful, and it'll look co cool in your room and stuff. And then we'll come back and get the pug one at another point. So, I got it! And it's amazing. And it's actually really nice and soft. And I love it. Next is kind of a stationary stuff. Some of the stuff isn't really stationary, like what I've just picked up. This is a desk lamp. So it's kind of fits in with the stationary stuff. Um, it's turquoise, obviously. And this was £10 from Ikea. It is called Janstro. And obviously I don't speak Dutch, so I probably pronounce that completely wrong. Because I know they say their letters weirdly, but that's just how it looks. So it comes with this base thing, which is turquoise, and it's actually like this little block with a little case that goes over it. And then it's got like a wire, and it's this, and then you can like bend it into whatever shape and angle you need it, and then it comes with a plug. And this is actually a really lightweight plug. But yeah, I haven't actually set it up yet, because as you can tell, it needs some um, screws taken out, and I don't have a screwdriver on me, um, so I need to ask my dad for one. Um, then I can set that up. So I'll have to set that up this weekend. So I'm going to keep that out of this box so I can do that tonight. Otherwise I'll forget it. Then I'll get to college and be like, oh crap. I have the receipt here so I will read out all the prices of all the stationery as I go along. Because they were really weird prices and I can't remember any of them. So this is a pencil case. And it's blue. And it's really nice. And it's like that plasticky. Shush! It's this plasticky kind of stuff, and I mean, it's not exactly big, but I think it will fit all my stuff in that I need to put in there, because not everything I've bought needs to go in here, so it should be dandy. And if I need to take another pencil case, I do have my clear one from my um, high school, so it's not too much of a problem, but I just thought blue, amazing. Oops. 
and that was one pound forty nine so not too bad next I've got some black pens because I used to religiously write in blue pen but now I religiously write in black pen because GCSEs you have to write in black pen so I kind of got so used to writing in black pen now when I write in blue pen it's too weird so I'm going to stick to black pen so these are just a set of five black pens and they were one pound next as I mentioned we have a cork board in our dorm so I bought some push pins because I wasn't sure if we would get push pins included uh, or if we had to bring our own it didn't say so I bought some just in case and I probably will use mine anyway even if there are some there so apparently there's 125 in there but I can't be bothered to count them all so I won't bother but these are all like blue turquoise pale blue green and white so they are all pretty decent colors and obviously I'll probably use all of them I'll probably use all of them <laughs> And they were, where are they? £1.19. Next, I got some coloured pens. There's another pack of those in here somewhere. Here. I got these coloured pens. I didn't actually mean to get two packs. I didn't bother saying anything because they were only 50p, but if they were like £2 or something, I probably would have been like, Okay, I accidentally picked up two packs, so I need one pack, but because they were 50p, I thought I would just leave a pack in my dorm and a pack in my pencil case, so when these ones run out, I can just have these straight away, because I love having coloured colours in my work, because one, it helps with memorisation, but two, it just looks really colourful and beautiful and I just love it. Next I got some whiteboard markers because on my desk I have a whiteboard that I haven't used in a while because I don't know where any of the pens are. So I picked up these because I'm going to be taking the whiteboard to college and I want to write a motivational um, quote on my whiteboard. Um, every week so it's kind of inspirational and it keeps me going um so I bought some new pens because I needed them yeah these were £5.29 so hopefully they'll be good and yeah next I bought some really nice notepads um again blue and blue um, this is from Pucker Pad and I got this one because it's really kind of grown up and mature and I don't really like the designs because they're like really kind of childish for me like I know I've kind of got loads of childish stuff in general but for college I just thought this was more grown up and smart and sophisticated so I just got this um, and I love it anyway because it's blue and it just looks really pretty and I'm going to love using it and to match that I got the campus notepad reporter's notebook thing um, this is a different company it's not Pucker Pad but the reason I got this was because the matching Pucker Pad project book had the little tabs coming out the side which I don't really like because there was only three of them and I have more than three subjects so it wouldn't have really been like ideal I you probably could have taken them out or something, but I just got this instead because blue. Um, so yeah, that's really nice, and I'm just going to use that for like doodling and no, not really. I'm going to use it for like notes and scribbling stuff down. I'm not really too sure. Um, but yeah, I'll find some use out of it anyway. And I probably will be getting a notebook anyway maybe after I've used all this I'm not really too sure just because I love notebooks and this is kind of like one of those lifty uppy thingies so I kind of want you know something else so the small reporter's notebook was £1.89 which was actually half price and the big notepad was £4.79 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and like seeing some of the stuff that I'm going to be taking to college. After about a week or two when I've moved in, I will be making a college room tour video. But I kind of want to get everything organised. I want to settle into college before I do anything like that. So it will be a bit of a wait, but I'm sure it will be worth it because I want my room to look absolutely amazing. But I don't want that to be like my main priority. So I will get around to it at some point and I'll also be doing a room tour when I move into my brother's room but that's got a long way to go so I don't know when that will be it'll probably be at least a month or two before that's even filmed let alone uploaded so I apologize for that I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading when I go to college I want to try and get a video up every week but I think that's going to be a struggle because when I'm at college I'm obviously there to be learning and so I don't want to be spending like my whole time editing videos and uploading but I probably will every once in a while if I've got like a little bit of work to do and I just need a break or something because I do have two days off during the week which is really good so I can possibly get some editing done then um, but I don't want YouTube to be my top priority when I'm at college so I apologise for that but I just need to focus on my schoolwork more than YouTube so I will try and get a video up every week but I can't promise anything and it's also finding time to film because when I'm at home I will be hanging out with my friends and family because I only get to see them at the weekends now so I do want to be spending as much time with them as possible and I don't want to be stuck in my room filming all day when I could be spending my time with my family so I apologize for that but I will try and get videos uploaded as often as possible but if you don't see me for a long time then it means I'm having fun at college so don't worry about me I will be absolutely fine so I do apologize in advance for my unfrequent uploading but I hope you understand and I will try and keep on top of it as much as I possibly can so thank you so much for watching give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe because I post videos that are random and weird. I was going to say like frequently and no, no. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hey, all over me. I hate having a doggy woogie. Come here. Come and say hi. Come and say hi. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come and say hi. Hi. <laughs> you saying hi? You saying hi? Hi, friends. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Ah! <laughs> She's running away. Shush! 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 What? 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 What are you barking for? What are you barking for? Can I get on with my hole now? Can I get on with my hole now? Woo! Go! <laughs> Careful! She fell over the bloody dog. You fell <coughs> over. Shush! No need for that. Lie down! Roxy! Lie down! Go on! Can you not like, take away the spotlight?